a $25 to $40 billion infrastructure project being planned by the Norwegian government, aims to replace the ferries with bridges, conventional tunnels, and what could be the world's first floating tunnel. The floating highway will be a 1,400-meter-long tunnel that would float 20 meters below the surface of the 155-meter deep Hogstjord near the western city of Stavanger. The Coastal Highway Route E39 project is the largest infrastructure project in modern Norwegian history and quite possibly the largest ongoing road project worldwide. When a fjord is deeper than 100 meter or wider than 2 to 3 kilometers, existing engineering solutions aren't applicable. So to make this project happen, the Norwegian government considering a new type of structure a submerged floating tube bridge or tunnel for some of the deepest and longest fjords exposed to harsh weather conditions, where suspension bridges or floating bridges will be difficult to build. The concept of submerged floating tunnels is based on well-known technology applied to floating bridges and offshore structures, but the construction is mostly similar to that of immersed tunnels. After the tube is prefabricated in sections in a dry dock, and the sections are moved to the site, one way is to first seal the sections, sink them into place while sealed, and when the sections are fixed to each other, break the seals. Floating bridges and other type of bridges on tension lake platforms, even if they are suitable for deep crossings, are susceptible to harsh weather conditions such as strong waves and currents. This is why the submerged floating tunnels has become an attractive solution for some of the longest and deepest fjords. Its submergence can naturally reduce the main sea load. Though the floating tunnel is buoyant, it isn't actually floating. The tubes would be stabilized by cables tethered to the seabed or by pontoons floating on the surface at roughly 800-foot intervals. With most of the hardware far below the surface, the tunnel wouldn't interfere with the movement of ships and boats and even submarines. Like conventional tunnels, the floating tunnel would have escape routes that motorists could take to return to the surface in case of an emergency. The team that is working on this project have done simulations for big explosions in the tunnel and also checked for impacts of submarines. They covered scenarios where a trawler might hook onto the tunnel and even considered if a ship might be sinking at the surface and hit the tunnel on the way down. They are considering other tests too, such as scale tests for fires and explosions, considering the possibility of having a truck carrying dangerous goods exploding inside the tunnel. The submerged floating tube bridge is certainly an engineering marvel, but the idea isn't new. The first known proposal was in 1886 by UK naval architect Sir James Edward Reed, and in Norway the idea was studied since 1923. The projected cost of the submerged floating tunnel is about 25 billion US dollars, would be nearly the same for a tunnel drilled below the seabed. However, the construction of a submerged floating tunnel requires less cost than a bridge. With the advent of new technologies and experience gained accordingly, such tunnels may prove to be less expensive than the conventional tunnels for deep water spans. The hope is that this floating highway will be accessible to traffic by 2050. The plan as of now is to bypass all ferry crossings and check in at 1100 kilometers. So, this is all about world's first floating highway. If you think this video is informative, do like this video and subscribe our channel. May technology bless you.